Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'll be showing you how I achieved this really natural, kind of simple pronto. This was my first time doing a pronto so I don't really know everything about it but I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this look and... But before we get into the video, please give this video a thumbs up, a big thumbs up, because I worked hard. Anyway, please give this video a thumbs up, um, hit the subscribe button, hit the post notifications bell. And if you want, you can leave a comment, maybe you guys have tips or something like that. I know like y'all ready to get into this video, because I'm ready to show y'all this video. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Hey y'all, so right now I'm just basically parting off my leave out, like the section I want. Um, I'm doing a side part, so I felt that the side part was harder low-key because you gotta make sure you section it right. So you'll see my boyfriend like attempting to part it, but he really don't know what he's doing, but A for effort. So now I'm braiding the foundation of the actual hairstyle. I'm really not that good at braiding on myself, but I low-key finessed it because I put some bobby pins in and stuff to hold it down. But I forgot to pull my edges out in my front portion, which meant I had to low-key start all over. But it's okay. Now I'm just braiding up my leave out for my in my edges area. Um, you want to make sure you like clamp it down because when you put the wig cap on, it might like spur back and you don't want it to do that. So like I said, you'll see me and my boyfriend putting on the wig cap. I'm going to switch that to my amazing boyfriend because what boyfriend you know helping do a girl's hair? Let me know. Period. Let me know. Next, you want to line your leave out. So I recommend using like something that'll show up on the wig cap. So I use the white one. This is like really critical because you don't want to cut your leave out off, sis. So I have my mom helping me so I can get it right. Next, you'll see me applying some of the, um, I think it's called like liquid cap or whatever. So basically, it's going to get hard once you sit in the dryer for like 10 to 15 minutes. And you want to make sure you put this like all, all, all over your cap because it's protecting your real hair from the glue. So wherever y'all choose to get y'all's bundles from, honey, please make sure you unravel the wefts properly because they gave me instructions on how to do it and I didn't do it right. So me and him spent like a good 10 minutes trying to unravel the bundles and they finally got unraveled, but that was honestly a struggle. So I used two wig caps, so I had to sit under the dryer a little bit longer to make sure it was set all the way. I used two because I feel like it's more more so protecting my real hair so you don't have to but that's just what i did now we get to glue the tracks on so like i said this is my first time doing this so i'll get better and better so what i saw was you're supposed to curve the tracks up so the first track i laid is from top of my ear to the other top of my ear and you want to lay them curved because it makes your hair look fuller So it's not really no way to tell y'all how to glue them. So like I said, I recommend that you curve them as you go, but this is just for a side part. So basically you're gonna measure, cut it, glue it, and you literally just repeat it. And I use the um, 30 second bond glue and I'll have it in the description bar below and I'll have it at the beginning or end of the video. So you'll see what kind of glue I use, but it went by pretty fast, so.
this is just showing y'all like how the curving of the wefts or whatever makes it look fuller excuse my face y'all I am finally done gluing on my tracks in, so now I'm kind of combing through it with my fingers. And I also apply some argan oil to the hair in my hair so I can begin flat ironing it. And this hair was like bomb, honey, because I literally took a comb and took the flat iron and ran through it one time. And it was straight. And I'll show you in, I think, the next clip to how straight it gets. portion is basically just a styling portion you can really do whatever you want to your quick weave just based on how your leave out is but I chose to flat iron mine so you guys this is the end of my video if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the post notifications bell so you're notified every single time I make a post and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because baby if you're not subscribed then what you really doing with your life and if you want to see more videos like this feel free to comment them down below and I'll see you in my next video Real, 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 real,